started at YouTube, so I've built a new section of the layout, and it's going to be a highway overpass, and I'm going to walk you through, start to finish, doing the scenery for it. So let's get started, and I'll show you what we've got going on. Okay, so you can see I've already got the track work in place. And the bridge done, which is a Wathers kit, and I did some decal work to it. And everything's all weathered and running, and the module is removable, which is held in place by these pegs. And I just used the Woodland Scenics risers to kind of start the terrain out. And the first thing we're going to be doing is shaping more of the terrain to match up with the rest of the layout and then laying the plaster cloth. Okay, so at this point everything's masked off. Got some shaping for the terrain just using brown paper, shipping paper, let nothing go to waste, and some uh, air packets from shipping as well. Sprayed it with alcohol diluted water to make it hold its shape a little better and the edges since this is a removable piece are just foam board which I will put um, hardboard fascia around later so next we will put the plaster cloth over it and I got a little bit of shaping left to do over there again this is just my way of doing things um, some of you have asked how I do things in the past so this is how I do it you can feel free to comment and let me know how you would add things or how you do it or whatever but this is how I do things so alright as you can see the plaster cloth is done everything's still masked off and it's drying nothing special here I just use Woodland Scenics plaster cloth I like it because it's wide and it covers a lot really quick and you can cut it down if you need to which I did of course to fit in the little bridge spaces I'll be doing a little more work with that with another product here in a minute as soon as this dries a little more again no special technique here I just basically follow the instructions so if you're wondering about that not much to say and you can see it's starting to look like part of the layout Alright, so now what I've done, I've taken this moldacine plaster, which sets up like clay, and I've basically blended in the bridge and the edges, so when you go to do the scenery, there won't be any strange gaps. Obviously now you can see why I masked everything, because this is pretty messy. There's what's left. But I like it because it sets up nice, you can shape it, it dries really quickly. You can paint it to look like rocks, which is what that will be back over on that edge. And once everything's done, I'll be able to clean up and touch up as necessary, no problem. So that's where we are now. Next step will be painting everything as soon as it dries a little more. That will probably be it for today. And there you have it. Mm -hmm. 
Again, the paint was wet. I just sprayed a little alcohol and water on it. That way I don't need glue for the ground foam. Once that dries, we can go back in and do all the major scenery. Not bad for an afternoon's work. So if you have questions, please comment below. I try to get to everybody. And we'll have part two up soon. Thanks.